Ummi, please, can I bake? Ummi, please, can I bake? Can I please bake? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Mawa's Kitchen. And I'm going to show you how to make tiramisu. And I learned how to make tiramisu by watching Auntie Tasha, Tasha's Kitchen. So, so I'll tell you the ingredients. You need six eggs, one cup of sugar, one cup of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of vanilla, and you need cream cheese, one cup of heavy whipping cream, and half cup of sugar. And for the syrup, you need um, coffee, sugar, van vanilla, and you need cocoa powder to dust off, make extra delicious. So now we are going to mix the wet and grease. So I'm going to crack the eggs. And then you don't, if, if you, and make sure that you don't get any shells. So I crack the egg. Oh, shells coming out. So you need to use the whisk attachment just like Auntie Tata. You have to whisk, you have to use the whisk attachment. Now put it down. And then lock it and mix it on high. Okay. When the eggs get all bubbly, then lift it up and then you can add the sugar. That's a lot. Mix it on high for five minutes until five for really, really thick. While your mixer is still on, butter your Spin for pan. So, you put parchment paper inside. So, I just butter it. Now you can set the flour. So, sift it and make sure that it doesn't spill anywhere. I have to do this because I like it. When the eggs are all ready, you can sift the flour. And now, fold it. And don't mix it like this. Just only fold it. And don't the the volume. And don't and don't deflate. That's key. That's key in making this cake. Do you see? Gins, big muscle. You can get. You can get your mom to help you to finish mixing. So, is add this. It's heavy because I can do it. So you can, so you can make this in average at three hundred, at three hundred for fifty. At 350 degrees, and we're going to him that this is this one's for you, but you have to come to my house and get it because this is tiramisu. It's for you. It's for you because I because I'm because I'm gonna make it and it's gonna be so delicious. But we didn't put any warm in it. We put vanilla. vanilla. So while your cake is in the oven, you can start on the cream, on the whipping cream. So you have to make, you have to lock it and mix it on high until stiff. You whip, when you whipped cream, it's already whipped. Now just put it in here, and then put it, put it in here, and to put it in the fridge. 
your cream cheese in the same bowl of your stand mixer. You put it in and then you put it down and then lock it and mix it on high. When your cream cheese is all soft, then lift it up and then put your sugar in. Take your whipping cream out of the fridge and then put it in. You can put your frosting in the fridge and try ready to decorate your tiramisu cake. When your cake came out of the oven, leave it cool on the green mat. Make sure you have to get your mom to cut it in half and to score and cut it. Now, take it off so that it doesn't crack and then lift this one over and take the parchment paper off. Take the parchment paper off. So, you can put your cake there. And this is your coffee. It's your syrup. After me because it's hot, it's very hot. And now it's the cake, half of the coffee. But if you don't, if you don't want your brush with coffee on it, then you can use the spoon if you want. When you put the coffee on the cake. Take one icing and put it on and then spread it out. If you, if you don't have any more, then you can use some more if you don't have any more. I'm going to put the other cake on. with some more coffee on the top. I told my mom to put it in the bowl so that it's flat and easy to do. Use the spoon if, there's, if the brush is too difficult for you. So you clean yeah you can clean the sides so that the Auntie and Tasha said clean the sides. Now we are gonna put some more. We are going to put some more. Put it all aside and just spread it around to make it flat. And then uh, you can leave the rest for piping. Now I'm going to do the side. Because I like sides. Just get a little bit it more if you don't have any more. When your frosting is nice and smooth, you can get your mom to to smooth it all around and now when it's all smooth round now you can leave the rest to put in the piping bag so this is the piping bag you hold the top and if you want to do any design that you want or any top pin or sides When the fridge piping, then you can sift the cocoa powder and make extra delicious. It's going to be so nice and it's going to be so delicious. The tiramisu is ready. Now, see, now it's already made. You can cut it and serve it. Made it. Now you can make it. Made it. Make it. 
spatula. Mmm. 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 This is my last sister. Her name is Lena. Yes. No. Don't touch him. He said no. I'm going to turn him into him. We're going to give, we're going to give this to the mustard. To the mustard. Taking it to melty mustard. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Da 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 da